I was making PKA live last week. Now, I told this story that I thought was kind of a hit about me trying ketamine and the experience and the organization Mm -hmm. that I went through and stuff. And it was cool, right? And it just happened to be that the top rated comment was like, Woody fucking overpaid. He took it wrong. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing or talking about. Type four. And I'm like, I don't even know what type four means. But this is the <laughs> highest rated comment on Painkiller already. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> type four fun. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> like, you know what? Yeah. That is funny how those threads start where it'll be like, hey, drug addict here. Uh, and then like, <laughs> they'll like, go into the information <laughs> like, oh, he's wrong about meth. And, 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 like, yeah, I'm a meth so guy. I hired experts to watch me take ketamine over like FaceTime. And they're like, Woody did it wrong. And I'm like, apparently I was supposed to snort it according to YouTube comments. I, Wait, you don't, I don't have know. to be. You can't. Snort it. All right. All right. I'm listening. Tell me more. I don't <laughs> yeah. think maybe you would have loved What's want... really fun? Take ketamine and then watch Rick and Morty. That shit's fun as fuck. I watched no, Woody's yeah, doing it to expand one. his mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's yeah, what the Rick, and Rick and Morty's Morty. for. I did it yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Did you get ketamine yesterday or Rick and Morty? The ketamine. I, I was just having a moment. I was trying to figure some shit out. <laughs> I'm know. fucking did you, did disfigured. You to, what'd you write down? What did you write down in your little K journal? Uh, a lot of stuff actually was about my relationship with Jackie. You know about oh, like oh, what fills her bucket. Uh, some of it was like like over not use that phrase. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you read the rest of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I haven't I watched remember. it since last time I did ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, uh, tell, what was tell your me about your experience with ketamine? ketamine yeah, I, I I was like a a, a slug. Like uh, I we, we 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 so we laid out all these mattresses on the floor at my friend's house, and we're like, all right, let's just do a retarded amount of ketamine and watch Rick and Morty. So we we all snorted massive lines of ketamine, and then we're sitting on these like. This mattress is in front of the TV, and I, I like, I have, I, I was pretty drunk at the time, so I have like <laughs> patchy memory. But I remember at one time, just like just sitting there with like my, my friend, and we're just like poking each other in the face and shit, and they're just giggling like schoolgirls. We're just like, and and I'm like, like t- pretending to put my finger in his mouth, and he's like, oh, <laughs> like pretending to bite me and stuff. And we're just, oh, no, we're, we were, we were, reti- we were retarded slugs. What, was it like, <laughs> like, was it a little, getting a little bit? Gay, like, like yeah, like, ketamine didn't make me gay. No, like, no, no, like, like, like no, MDMA. Gay, no, we were just like, we we're just like tickling each other, just being like kids. <laughs> what what like, they? That's interesting. Right, the thing right, about okay, ketamine that, is that okay. it makes you, it makes you act like what you want the most in the world. <laughs> oh, it wasn't gay. <laughs> we were just like, tickling each other and you know, fun. Oh, no, no, not a gay. Yeah, that's way. just what like, I'm we just looking at the data. Tickling each other's knobs, but it was just like it was just dumb shit. Yeah, if you had taken a little more though. Oh, you never know. Yeah. That, uh, how much one of my friends how much one ketamine of my friends does it was, take to turn you gay one of my friends how much did you take <laughs> yeah, you already know sorry <laughs> <laughs> no my, my friend was doing a trip the other day and he's, he's like yeah we could, we could do this drug or that drug and a lot of people want to do DMT and, uh, mm-hmm. and he's like well we could do MDMA or whatever but we really need to bring chicks are you going to that. a rave he's like we really need to all like bring our girls if we do that because Man, homie, if any of y'all start getting gay with me, like I'm not gonna be one of those weird dudes that like kills you or anything, but like I'm gonna like make fun of you for a long time, you know? <laughs> what does He's he think MDMA does? Right, right this person like name. huggy kissy, right? Like 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 doesn't it doesn't it? I, I've, I've never done it. I've only done it at like but before I went to concerts in college. Did it make and, you like, like huggy was... kissy and like would you want to like put your hand around your bra? No, I said like it, like I I did it and like I went to like a Skrillex show in like 2010 and cool. I was that I was one of those lunatics. He was cool at the time. And- <laughs> I'm not disputing that. I'm- I have I have and, done MDMA and I was, at a Skrillex show. I was show. up at the, uh, there. We go, <laughs> brothers. And uh, and I was over to the right. One of those guys who's not in the thick, like doing the normal person, like dancing. I was like in my own world, vibing, like okay. dancing oh, yeah. in ways I never had. I had a blast. So and dehydrated. Then, nothing gay then at all. No, no, we just danced, yeah. had a great time, and then mm. then went back. This uh, may, maybe maybe my friend has like a whole gay thing, and he's he's that, that's his way of being like, well, let's not do that. That makes people gay. Trust me. 
See, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, wow. Oh, you're like, dude, tequila laughing, I got shots? blown out. Yeah. Like, oh, you're going to do tequila? I, I, Don't I remember, kiss me, bro. I remember one time, I, oh, well, it's actually when we went to the Skrillex concert. We, uh, so we, we got to this festival, and it was called Breath of Life, and it's like a uh, anti-cancer like awareness concert thing. And so I rock up there with, I've got a, I've got a pack of cigarettes and a fuckload of MDMA, and it's 9 a.m. in the morning, and it, it goes from like 9 a.m. till midnight at night. Mm. So me and my friend get there, and we're like, okay, let's have a couple of beers. And my friend's like, no, let's just take two pingers instantly. So we take two pills of MDMA straight away, like at 9 a.m. in the fucking morning. And so we're fucked. And I'm, I'm so <laughs> while you're you're on MDMA, you're smoking a lot of cigarettes if you're a smoker, or you're chewing a lot mm-hmm. of chewing gum. And so I go through this pack of cigarettes, and then I remember just spending the whole rest of the day trying to find fucking cigarettes at this like <laughs> anti-cancer festival, <laughs> and it was fucking impossible. <laughs> it was so fucking hard to find a cigarette. But uh, at one stage, so we we took so many. My friends like standing there next to this this bar thing, and they just start throwing up fucking blue foam <laughs> and <we're> just <laughs> what he's just freaking the fuck out and just throwing throwing up fucking blue foam everywhere and we're like okay he's definitely gonna die <laughs> 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 he, he, turned, he turned, out, turned out okay and then so we we end up like taking all of our mdma and we're like oh, yeah, let's let's uh let's just hang out so it's like midday and uh we go we go and watch fat boy slim and i'm standing there in the crowd at fat boy slim and i look down at my feet and just perched under my feet is just another massive bag of pills, like 10 of them. And I was like, the holy grail. Let's take more pills. <laughs> so random just- drugs? Wait, where you found random drugs yeah. on the ground? Yeah. And you took so- those random drugs. Fuck yeah, dude. Did you How know did what you it was? That those weren't like, I don't know, downers or, or, or something. Just take one and find out. But did you take one and find out or did you take a whole bunch? Yeah. No, it was MDMA. I, oh, well, I took a whole bunch after I took one, and then I was like, "That's MDMA." And then oh, I took a whole bunch. It's four <laughs> pills. I yeah, love he when was that smart. happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. I, I used to have the uh, the opinion that if uh, someone would be like, "Hey, do you want this?" and I'd be like, uh, "What is it?" Oh, actually, don't worry. And then I'll just take it. <laughs> we'll just find out. You, you, I called well, it the ballsy. drug test. That is a little different than taking floor pills, though. Like, like yeah. at, least the, at least when someone offers you something, they're kind of co-signing that that pill. Uh, it was like, hey, in, you want one of these? Yeah, it was in a it was in a baggie. So. They, they were, they were, it was in a baggie. They were pressed pills. Oh, they thank look God, like, they look like pingers. I was like, eh, fuck it. Okay, it worked. I, I didn't more pills myself. <laughs> I didn't die. I'm so scary. I didn't die. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I feel like that. My even if it was the purest MDMA on the planet, like the thought of taking a pill not knowing on the ground of a festival, I would immediately be like, like if I took one and somebody was like, can you believe I found yeah. these on the ground? I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, 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 I'd be like going <laughs> to the hospital, like having a panic attack. Like it's a festival if you're though. Like, There's fun pills all like, over the place. Yeah, but what if they if someone someone had tested some drugs and be like, oh, look, poison. Ha, get rid of that poison. And they, <laughs> and they threw it on the ground. Yeah, but look, like, drugs are on the ground. That means someone has discarded them or some cl- the clumsiest person in the world yeah, they just lost doesn't them. drop their drugs <laughs> like, yeah sure they do it happened it, <laughs> it happened. i've never dropped how, drugs how do you know they're on drugs like do anything <laughs> that's true is that your only time ever taking floor or floors generous ground drugs ground drugs Gra- uh yeah that's the only time oh, well i mean except for picking mushrooms in the forest but that's the that's, that's the only okay. time i've ever picked up so like i'm a, okay with that a class a narcotic off the See, ground nature like, put those okay, there not yeah mystery person when you when you go in the woods and you like are picking those is it like oh you need to find one patch and there's a bunch of them or is it like a tiny little uh, one there and it's like oh we need we need to find eight more cow pies to get enough like i have no idea i uh, I, I just uh, i usually my friend uh tells me which ones they are because i suck at it but uh, from what i understand it's just like you you go to an area that has like the right environment so he's always like oh they're growing down here at the moment we go down there and then they'll just be sort of spread out everywhere and he'll just like walk around and be like, that's one, that's one, that's one. And then just pick them up. And he does something. Uh, he uh, The ones down here, you, you get hold them. And then the like when they're snapped off, the ring turns like blue on the, oh. uh, and they, uh, he calls them blue meanies. So, but I, yeah, I, I'm like, you do that. You know more about it. I don't want to kill myself by something. <laughs> 
He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yep, I've got this. So you just wait beside him for him to procure the drugs for you. Oh, uh, we just go have a beer. Watch. I'm not into mushrooms at all. It's it's never been a good yeah. time. Really, it's never been a good time. Yeah. Um, but the last time I did mushrooms, I had, I like, like afterwards I had this, like, I don't know. I just felt shitty. I couldn't go. I was lying in bed, like, man, I'm bummed out. And I'm like, what am I bummed out about? I don't know. Just bummed out. That sucks. <laughs> and I woke up the next morning and I was like, Phew, I'm glad I don't feel like that anymore. That was yeah. awful. <laughs> and, it, and, and like the, the, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze or however you want to put it, because I don't know, yeah. maybe a little giggly. But afterwards, I was, I, I just felt like shit. I just felt like terrible, like, all, like depressed. Like, like I fell into a, a, a meaningless depression that wasn't, wasn't about anything in particular. Right. For no cause, no reason, just. Yeah. I just had that like heavy, empty sort of like feeling in my chest and like restlessness where like, how can I sleep when I feel this bad? Like, uh, oh, no. and I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your yeah. favorite? LSD? LSD is your good one? Oh, LSD is the best drug I've ever done for but sure. But you've only done it. Once or twice, right? Yeah, just once. Just once. once. See, that's um, the thing. It's such a small sample size. I suppose, but I don't... In my experience, various drugs have always felt the same no matter how many times I've done them. Yeah. Like, like, like mm-hmm. I think I tried cocaine twice, and both times it felt the same, and both times I didn't like it. And I was like, this is just... First of all, this, is, this doesn't seem like a hard drug because it feels like I just slammed three Red Bulls. I'm a little giddy. But like mm. Jesus Christ, that shit's expensive and gross, and you're putting it in your nose. And who the there's always it laxative like in there. Like like it has a you can taste the fucking laxative. It's the, it's fucking gross because it, they it, cut it to make more yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and I'm sure somebody out there is like a weed kind of sort of like yeah, you gotta get the pure shit. I don't want it. I don't want <laughs> it. Um, that seems there like is, a gross. Well, drug. Most of the cocaine these days though is not pure. As I would never do that again. Make, you can't make like proper cocaine anymore because the they they used ether to make it originally, and that was like how you make proper cocaine. And it's almost impossible to get that in Southern America now. They have like laws yeah. against it. Yeah. So pretty much all of the cocaine that you get is not proper cocaine. So it's, I was like, well, it's I probably care. better. I, I was I, like, I, 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 so I, I'm rewatching Breaking Bad right now, okay. and they sell meth in that show, that blue meth, and all the like key things about making it. Are not true. That like methamphetamine or whatever. Apparently Methyl- not. Or methylamine. Methyl- Methylamine's yeah. not that hard to get, and uh, methylamine's not that hard to make. It, you know, you can use like really common things. Like I, I'm making it up, but like aluminum and phosphate or something makes methylamine. And any chemist can do this. The whole plot device of them like breaking into warehouses and stopping trains and shit like that was just for TV. Also yeah. the purity, you know, human is 99.1% pure and Jesse could make like 90% pure and the other people were making 70. All that is bullshit too. Meth is apparently typically stepped on, you know, like even if it was 99.1% pure, no one would want that. They would mm. instantly, the dealers would start just mixing in rock candy or something to, to make mm. more money in well, um, not, not rock candy. I just said that cause it looked like meth. Yeah, I, I feel it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You cut it with something because it, I would imagine that using pure meth, you'd you'd want like such a tiny amount that some if you'd been using a cut your whole life and then you went to like something pure, you'd just kill yourself. Maybe, but the dealers yeah, just maybe. make more money. Like I think Barksdale in um, The Wire was like, hey, the lower the quality, the more they buy, and <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's up. Yeah, they kept changing the uh, the name of the drug, but it was the same shit over and over. He's like, yeah, that's grape eight <laughs> right there. That's that new shit. It's fire. <laughs> it killed, <laughs> it killed a ninja. <laughs> and, 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 uh, it's the same shit they were selling last hey, year. All about marketing, meth marketing. Yeah, yeah. It, it was always a good thing if it killed somebody, that, because then, then everybody'd be like, "Hey, can I get the stuff that killed that guy? Y'all got that?" <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>